Hi, I'm Tom Percival. I'm the author and illustrator of Ruby's Worry, Ravi's Rule, Perfectly Norman, and Misha Makes Friends. And today, I'm going to be reading from my brand new book, The Invisible. The Invisible. Isabel pulled on her favourite jumper. Ice curled across the inside of the window and crept up the corner of her bedpost. It was very beautiful, and Isabel always noticed beautiful things, but there was no escaping the fact that it was also cold, very cold. You see, Isabel's family couldn't afford to have the heating on. Isabel's family couldn't afford a lot of things, things that some people take for granted. But Isabel tried not to worry about the things that she didn't have. After all, she and her family had everything that they needed. They had each other. But one day, there just wasn't enough money to pay the rent and all of the bills, and Isabel and her family had to leave their home, the house which held all of their happy memories, and move to the far side of the city. For the first time ever, Isabel couldn't find anything beautiful to cheer herself up. This part of the city looks exactly how she felt. Cold, sad and lonely. A family drove past in a shiny car, but they looked straight through Isabel as though she wasn't even there. And none of the other smartly dressed people seemed to see her either. Isabel looked down and realised that she could barely see her own hands or her feet. She was fading away. Before long, Isabel was completely invisible. She drifted silently down the streets, as pale and thin as the wind. And Nobody saw her at all. But now that Isabel was invisible, she noticed something that she hadn't before. Other invisible people, lots of them. There was an old lady planting flowers in empty paint pots. There was the man who slept on a bench, feeding the birds in the park. There was the boy who had been forced to leave his home in another country, helping to mend someone's bike. But they all seemed so alone. Isabel decided to help. She planted flowers in the paint pots. She looked after stray animals and she helped to fix things up. Then, day by day and week by week, other people joined in too. And the more that people came together, the more they could all be seen. Soon, Isabel wasn't just visible, she was vibrant. And so was her new home. And that was how Isabel made something very special. One of the hardest things that anyone can ever make. Isabel had made a difference.